Well, only two of Rhode Island state beaches will be open on Memorial Day, and that's a cause for concern for towns where state beaches are closed. Iowa this News reporter Logan Wilbur has more on what town members in Meskwamakit are asking from the governor ahead of the three day weekend. Whether you come to the beach to enjoy the water, the sun, or just come to enjoy the view, those I spoke with today say people will flock to westerly beaches, completely defeating the purpose of closing most state beaches. Now they're asking the governor to reconsider those closures. Open the beaches. We need the space. Keeping Mesquamacit State Beach closed might backfire, according to town councilor Caswell Cook. He says he is already seeing crowded lots in town with people coming from all over Rhode Island and neighboring states, proposing to utilize the state beach's parking lot as overflow for safe distancing. Adding without the state's help, the town will be in over its head with holiday crowds. So we're going to be picking up the slack in terms of rescuing people if they drown picking up the slack in terms of picking up all the trash up and down that whole stretch. Cook and others say the whole purpose for keeping most state beaches closed will have unintended consequences at nearby town beaches like Wooskanoo Beach. By only opening a few, you're making everybody go to a few beaches and we're overcrowded. They're all going to congregate here and we're going to be on each other's towels. It's going to be too much. Caswell Cook says even with large crowds, nearby businesses will also be adversely affected by blanket regulations limiting outdoor dining capacity for restaurants like the Windjammer. He says the restaurant can safely seat 100 tables outside, but is limited to just 20. Now Cook is sending one last SOS to the state before the weekend crowds arrive. At the very least, if the governor does not want to open the gates of the state beach, she needs to have security there, she needs to have trash cans on that beach, and she needs to have some kind of lifeguards. While speaking with Kevin Quackenbush, I actually found out he's from Connecticut, and he says he comes to this beach four days a week with no problem. This highlights another concern of Caswell Cooks, who says he doesn't see anyone enforcing quarantines for anyone coming from out of state to Rhode Island beaches. Reporting in Westerly, Logan Wilbur, Eyewitness News.